Who doesn't have a drink? Has anybody even taken an order back here? So nobody has anything here. Nobody has anything there. Nobody has anything on the other side. We will never dig out of this. Never. Rick DJ. So for Recon tonight, I brought in some younger local singles to see how the staff treats them. Oh, boy, I'm going to get fired for that. <laughs> I won't tell him. I hear he's a real jerk. Don't like Mike. Can we do three lemon drop shots, please? Three I have to go get drops. lemons because there's okay. no lemon. They have no lemon. None of this is good. Be right back. Come on up, Jeep. What does it take to get a drink around here? <laughs> Who's behind the bar right now with our bartender walking out of the bar? Look at the bottle of whiskey sitting on the bar. Can we just pour our own shots? <laughs> you could really help yourself. There's a shot glass, there's the whiskey. We're good to go. I'm sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. So we finally got the lemon drops. I wonder what that tastes like. We'll find out in a second. Oh. Ooh, I wouldn't say that was successful. You're better. Can we order another drink? Can I do an old fashioned? Old fashioned? Yeah. They ordered three old fashions? <laughs> now what I was thinking. <laughs> Honestly, she was happy when she didn't have a drink. Do you mind if I get a water? Yes, sir. Jesus. What? Can I get a water? Uh-oh. I'd be with you when I'm done, OK? If you're trying to get under my skin, you're getting there. Whoa. Shots fired. What? He asked for a water. They're the biggest spenders in a room, I think. Why would he disrespect them? Can we get a drink over here? What can I get you? Um, all, uh, three shots, please. Five dollars, OK? Talk about a bad night. How many shots have you had in the last hour? This man's going to argue with his customer. They're cut off. Cut off? What? No more. Can't serve you more than three shots We've in We've only hour. had one. I said you were cut off. You said. Why? Because Why I said so. How much do you weigh? Why does that matter? That's how much you can drink. Wow. It does not matter. I'll and I, I can actually day, ask, uh, tell you hey. that I'm not going to serve you anymore if you want to keep it up. And he's putting his hands I'm on him. I'm so uncomfortable that he keeps touching him. I'm not serving you anymore. What did I do? You got a little bit smart so to the wrong smart. person. Well, yeah, but it's my place. Why are you the wrong person? I'm the owner. Why don't you leave? Whoa! You want me to show you how I'll call the sheriff? I can't watch this. This is unbelievable. It's time to get under Mike's skin. Uh oh. He's going to lay into him. Won't give us another guys? drink until we get one. Don't worry. Hi. Right. How many drinks have you had? Uh, two. Two? two? Are you intoxicated at all? No. No? No. no. Do they appear intoxicated to you? No. How would you feel if I put my hand on your shoulder like you did him? and pretty much said, I don't like you. I don't want you here, because I said so. I guess I'd be upset. You'd be upset because the person who did that to you would be an ass, correct? Yes. Why were you an ass to him? I want to understand. I'm sorry, I don't have an explanation for you. Really? And you're in the bar business. Jay, come over here, please. Hello, nice, to meet, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So I have a simple question for you. Does your father act like an ass, or is he an ass? He's an asshole. He's an asshole? No. How does that feel? Not well. How much in debt are you, Mike? A lot. How much, Mike? Over a million dollars. You like writing a check for 15 grand every month? No, I haven't. Have you ever, when you've written that check, said to yourself, what an asshole I am? No, I haven't said that. Are you here to lose more money? No, I am not. Maybe it's time to say that to yourself, Mike. Who else works here? Come on over, guys. Come on, let's make it a party. Is he an ass? Yes, he yeah. is. Yeah. Is he a big ass or a little ass? He's a big He's ass. He's a big ass. Is he an ass all the time? 
Just about. Okay, your son says you're an ass. Both your mechanics say you're an ass. Come on over, buddy. What's your name? Joel Jr. Joel Jr. Nice to meet you. You guys work in the kitchen. Joel? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Is Mike an ass? Yeah, he is. I don't like helping asses. Not one person in this room believes that you have the ability to not be an ass. I'm not sure I want to help you get it back. Tonight for stress tests, I'm looking for two things. I'm looking for Sean to step up and run this place effectively, and I'm looking for Phil to act like an owner. Let's do it, guys. How's it going, guys? Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. What can I get for you guys? See my size, have a gun. Take it. Burger, no tomato. Yep, burger, no tomato. How are the drinks, guys? You trying yet? Delicious. Delicious. Love it. Hey, John, okay. Lana, can I throw some drinks in here for you? Wow. Yes, sir. She rocks. Though. She's chicken ass, John. She's killing it. Yeah. This girl is dead to rights good. I got no problems with her. Yeah. yeah. So I'm holding You're a great tickets. bartender. You are. Right out of the gate, Mindy's fast. She's solid. She's a confident bartender. She's sticking to recipes. I see talent in the team. Now I got to see talent from management. What's up, guys? How are you? And any food or anything, guys? Check it out. Now make sure we're getting orders in. Is somebody hitting these tables, Sean? Uh, it happens you should know. Where... Yes. Uh, it wasn't done yet. It's still raw. It'll cook pretty quick because you just squished it down. Here, put it together. Say what? That burger's ready. Okay. So listen, as an owner, what's going to happen is there's going to be times where he's going to know something, and you got to kind of just. And this not kind of, It's still raw. Kind of just stand behind him and it's still raw. Up. That's raw as hell. You cook it. You cook burgers too well done. If you want to sell it, you can go ahead and sell I it. Yeah. This is just uh, all of it, everything. I mean, everything is all a cluster. Everything's disorganized. There's not a team, you know? So it, it makes it really hard to do anything if there's not a team back here. This is Coach Angela. Burger, no cheese. Lava, no cheese. All right, there you go. Hey, all right, guys. Paloma, Paloma. Three Palomas. Three more Palomas. Six, eight Palomas. That makes it easy. You guys can keep doing it that way. Right from the get-go, I'm seeing problems in the back of the house. The fact of the matter is the front of the house is doing pretty well. Phil managing the kitchen is unraveling while Sean has the bar together. Phil, yeah. Mo, whoa, look at this burger. Uh -huh. I told him it was raw. I told him, I told him several raw. times. It's so, do you know how to cook out. burgers? Yes, I do. I... Well, who's cooking here? If this is Mo's grill, then back him up. All right. Oof. Up. You don't know what time the burger's gone on, when it's been flipped. One guy has to do this. Sean, are you managing a bartender? I'm heading to the kitchen right now. Because we have some serious yes, crises. Right people aren't yep. served. Some people are half served. Food yep. is coming out yep, raw. Yep, yep. Take you control. All right, where are we at? What are we behind on? Talk to me, guys. What's going on? Here? Man, I mean, I can't really call it a fry. This doesn't even look like it's been fried. It just looks like a potato. I'll make sure you get your money back. We should Five this tickets are taking us now. This by so, guys, we're not even traveling at 20 miles an hour. Excuse me, Excuse me. So, come on. If what we am I got here with five tickets, what the hell are we doing here? One of my the tables, question. their burger is not cooked all oh, the way through. Shit. Another raw hamburger, come on! Come on. Phil is standing here not knowing what the hell to do. Everybody out there is waiting and waiting and waiting and nothing happens. Phil, you've got to get how out of the grill. Know how to come cook down here and fry. Fry. We've been come here 14 freaking years. How does this happen? Come on. Mm, crazy stress? How's that? Crazy stress? Crazy stress? Stress is going crazy stress. I'm going to close this down. Okay. I see our points of failure. Close this down now. Okay. 
Guys, it is unfortunately, John has made the decision, it is over. I think the stress test tonight, um, the results were mixed. Now the bartenders did a really great job. I want to tell you, you guys did an awesome job. Okay, I think Sean and I let you down because we didn't have the processes and really ready. And I, as an owner, I'll take responsibility. Hopefully, we can fix this and make this thing work because I want Sean to succeed. Here we go, guys. My name's Juan. Please welcome to Calaveras. Come on in. And welcome. Welcome, come on in. Hi guys, so we're leaving the Marindo, Cadillac, or Bloody Maria tonight. Just those three drinks. Steak fajita. I'll buy the first 10 people whatever you want to eat. He'll take the order. Let's go, get the food orders in. Hi! How are you? ¿Cómo están? Bien, bien aquí. Five tickets up on the bar. This entire other side hasn't been served yet. It all comes down to the next 10 minutes. Either they'll dig out of this or they won't. I need 10 tamarind margaritas. Cilantro. Okay, guys, you got a bunch of orders coming in. All right, John, we're on it. We're going to get before the start. storm. Let's see. Okay. Yep, and way too sour, too. Let's do it again. Come on, let's get it right. Two, four, six, eight, ten tickets now here at the service bar. Do this, guys. Come on, this is your service bar. Three tamarinds. Four. Other ceviche, other pozole. Come on, guys, we have to be faster than this. Jessica, you gotta move quicker. You're gonna have gray hair by the time this drink comes across the bar here. We got our first two drinks up on the pass. We've been open almost 20 minutes. How many people have drinks? One, two, three, four. At this rate, we'll be here about seven hours. <laughs> How we doing? It's got about, we're about 20 deep on tickets. So I'm gonna get wine back here to help. Okay. Wine, they're falling apart in the kitchen. They are? So who's gonna manage this for you? Don't just walk away. Who's got this? They won't. Give this to one of them so they manage through it. You've got this? I will get this. Okay. Okay. okay, go in the kitchen. Which one you got this? Which one are you working on, Jeff? Right? Okay, pongamela. There we go, two hands. There we go. I didn't know you had a second hand. Let's move quicker. Talk to me, chef, what's going on? So we put out two tickets so far. So what's our ticket time? So it looks like we're at 24 minutes right now. Wow. So yeah, we're little 24 be minute ticket times. The industry standard is 12 minutes. We thought this menu could be done in 10 minutes. They're not even getting it done in a half hour. John? Oh. One, two, three, four. How many we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. You guys see why I'm here now? Yeah. Yeah. This is crazy. I've never worked a shift where it's this bad. She has no screw at all. It's nothing. Come on, guys. We have to do better than this. Jessica, you're the worst bartender back here. You can't get this done at all. OK. Come on. We're dying in the weeds with tickets, Jessica. I think with, just with experience and based on how many drinks I make, I'm sure I'll get faster, but it's all new to us today, so I'll get there. We got tickets coming out everywhere, so we're, we're, we're in trouble now. How about some knives and forks over here? You guys gonna eat it with your hands? Oh, guys, how about some roll-ups, some knives, forks, some napkins? Steps of service, guys. <laughs> it looks great. Guys, rest assured, I'm told they're searching for silverware. Oh. Juan, they can't find any silverware. These customers have food. They tell me they're searching for silverware. What the hell is going on here? I mean, we can't get a fork to a freaking customer. Peter, to get some uh, silverware out? Yep. Thank you, sweetie. Still no silverware down there. Vámonos, vámonos. Yeah. This was sitting just around the corner, filled with frickin' silverware. Well done, everybody. Yes. Well frickin' done. All they have to do is walk nine feet and pick up a frickin' fork, which, thank you, he finally did it. How many tickets we got up there, Chef? We got about 20, but I got another. 10 back here. So we're gonna start running half hour, 45 minute ticket times. Unfortunately. We'll be in an hour in no time. Now I got 15 freaking tickets here. I can't get 
drinks out of the bar. Who still doesn't have drinks? You guys want to wait an hour for your food? I've had failures before, but this is one of the worst. I am literally throwing in the white towel. Juan, get out here. Look at this. They can't get drinks out. We can't get the service bar together. You can't get food out of the kitchen. We got 30 freaking tickets back there. Close this bar down. Man, do we have to train. And I got to start with you. Shut it down. Guys, we're going to work on this. We're going to make sure we're staffed up and we're better prepared for next time. My deepest apologies to all of you guys. I've had stress test failures. This is a white towel failure, a complete surrender. There was not one thing that I can attach to to find success in this bar. It was a complete failure. Anthony, yes. I really need you to pull through tonight as like the group, okay? Know. If things start to fall apart, I want you to put it back together. Okay. All right, it's very, very important. I will. Really cool. Okay, with John putting me in charge for the night, I feel overwhelmed. So I just got to bring my game up and have some fun with everyone. Welcome, everybody. Come on in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, welcome, Linda Liz. Hey. Hi, ladies. How are y'all? Oh, God. The pot coming good? Flavor Blaster, baby. Flavor Blaster. So if you want some flavor, go ahead and squeeze that right in there. We'll get right to you. They're going to bust their butts tonight. Have you guys ordered yet? Side, Anthony, work the whole bar. Don't all stay there. Okay, what, what can I, we get you? The tequila. Move your hand, please. So look what happens with one workstation. To dump his ice, he's got to go over here. To get the mint and garnishes, you got to go over there. To pour it, you got to go over there. Why don't you go over her? I'll go over you, Phil. Come on over on top of it. Let's see if we can play pyramid while we're back here. Come on, this is ridiculous. This bar confines you. It restricts you. There's no room to move. There's no room to work. It can't possibly succeed. Let me get through here. <laughs> How do you work like this? Nobody's ordered over here. Come on, guys. We can't just do one side. Who's got this side? Well, I got them far over okay, here. Okay, Anthony, then claim the side. Be okay. a leader. I'll be Cut with it you on that one. Sorry. What are you doing, Anthony? What are you doing? It's feeling like I'm going to run it. Get it together, screen. brother. Get it together. Come on yes. now, baby. Where's his card at, baby? You first ordered one there. of everything. Yeah. It's it's right. the, oh, Two of everything. everything. Amanda, come here. Amanda, Amanda, yes, I need sir. you right here. Come here now. Trina, I need you to come here right now. Look. Look at me. You guys need to communicate, okay? Yes. If, you guys, if you're, yeah. if you're well, looking, we, we're, 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 what? Oh, I saved it with all the cards that I put here. Okay, Jeffrey, right perfect. There, Sounds good. Right so, so communicate yeah. with each other. So there. You guys are not no, even. Not Listening to me. Uh, I'm just a little nervous and I feel a little uh, like I should be behind there with him, but I know I'm just in the way. I'm just complicating it by doing that. Where's your garnish? Hold on, we hold on. Oh sh hold on, we got a flood. Hold on. Right now I'm just trying to take notes and, and learn from this experience so I can be better. Brandon, yeah. we got a flood going on. What? Okay, okay, okay. okay. Careful, Phil. Hold on, we got a flood. Brandon, yeah. we got a flood going on. What? Okay, okay, okay. Up. Careful, Phil. That's when it starts to overflow. <laughs> Where is this coming from? The dish machine? Yes. We have a plumbing disaster here. Our floor drain overflowed. The floor is so slippery. I'm concerned somebody's going to get hurt. I'm going to shut it down. Shut it down. Let's go to work. Right. Somebody's going to slip and get hurt. Right, everybody, we're shutting it down. Thank you guys so much for coming out. The bar is awful. We had floods on the floor. Nobody can work behind that bar. There's a lot riding on here tonight. This is very nerve wracking. I think sitting in an interrogation room is easier than what's going on here. I want you to see this. Oh, shit. So you can fill this place, can't you? Yeah. So tonight, I want you to focus on a bar, get drinks out, get production going, keep product moving. You with me? OK, let's open them up. Hey, guys. Everybody, welcome to the Grant Bar. Come on inside. Hi. How's it going? Grapefruit hard seltzer, a coffee in Manhattan, and a cucumber gimlet. Watch where you're touching. Did you just see what you did? Start that one over. 
food tonight? You want to do the meatball? Yeah, I think you guys will like that. What can I get you we to drink? Want, we want one of everything. One of everything? Okay, hold on. I don't know. I gotta, let me look. I gotta type it in real quick. I'm so sorry. So we got the grapefruit, hard seltzer, uh, cucumber and gimlet. Count, count out loud. Three, four, five, six. Oh, move intentionally. Don't touch the top of the glass. Right. Start that one over. You're wasting your time. You're wasting the guest's time. That's You're right. focused. Things are moving nice and quickly, aren't they? <laughs> Did they take your order? Not yet. Has anybody looked at you, smiled at you, welcomed you, any of those things? No. Besides the door. <laughs> What's going on? Um, they look like they're the same ticket. They look like they're, they're oh, the where's, exact same. Where's DJ? DJ. Yes, sir. Help him. Keep yeah. an eye on your bar. Yes, sir. All the orders coming in doesn't help if you can't get him out of here, right? Yes, sir. Try to balance this. Double. Anybody can wait tables, right? Right, I was just trying to. OK, so have somebody else wait tables. You make it happen here. I asked DJ to focus on production. Rookie managers go to the easiest spot in the room. An experienced manager would know to jump in the middle of it, which is production. Rather than doing the hard work, he took the easy route. Can you find these? These are hers. They're, they go over there, they're on that table. So you're sending an employee Sorry. out without knowing where she's going. Right. I mean, come on, DJ, tell her where she's going. Why do you know? It's table three. Where is that? One, two, three, it's the third table. You're so disorganized, you can't do anything, can you? It's total chaos. More than half the room has nothing right now. Complete chaos. There's about 100 people in here right now. It's crazy. Nobody has any drinks. I'm really not happy right now. Do you not know how to stir a drink? And now look where you're those glasses. Are you kidding me right now? Start those drinks over. What a waste of time. What are you no, doing? No, no. We got doing? the over here. Oh, sorry, dude. It's just we're melting cheese. How we doing? You know, honestly, we're not doing anything. So, how long does it take for the cheese to melt? Six, seven minutes, easily. Do we have all the orders in? Yeah, how many we orders have did like we get? five tickets. You have six tickets. And what kind of ticket time? First ticket's easily 12 minutes right now. There's six tickets behind. All the food's left. They can't even get it in the oven. It's a category five hurricane in that kitchen. Food is not going out. We can't even fit stuff in the oven. We're at a complete standstill. Tickets are coming in faster than we can produce food, so we're just doomed. No matter how hard they work, they can't succeed. There's nothing they can do. Yeah. Damn. Here. You should have been iced before you started shaking. You need to ice these at the same time. <sighs> Start both of these drinks over. Just dump your drinks down and drain. But you wouldn't have wanted them anyway, trust me. After this round, you gotta clean up this mess. I am definitely gonna do that. And this mess, you gotta look at your whole bar. I am definitely gonna do it. I'm just section. finishing it up. So moving quickly now. I am, I'm you know moving, I'm, I don't wanna mess up. I can't take much more of this. Neither can I. There's no drinks getting out to people. I don't think anyone over there has even gotten an order in. Who doesn't have a drink? <laughs> We will never dig out of this. Never. Bring DJ. Where's Tammy? Get me Tammy. You've been locked in the kitchen all night. Watch this. Who has not gotten a drink? I want Tammy to see this. Is there anybody in this room who's happy right now with their service? Do you understand the magnitude of this failure? He can't do any of this. Shut this bar down. I'm frustrated with myself because it's just the same mistake over and over and over again. Maybe I'm not as good as I thought I was. Interesting, chef. So they grill the onions, and they really just put a slice of cheese yeah. and some grilled onion on top of the burger. That's it. Now, that's OK if that's the burger that sure. they make. If it's sure. a delicious burger, that's a nice, simple, it could yeah. be delicious. Mm -hmm. Season it properly, I'd eat it. But see any gloves on those hands? No gloves. Raw meat all over his hands. Yep. So let's see where he goes with those hands now that there's raw meat all over him. OK, now he's, let's see, now he's going to oh. pick up the utensil. Oh, there we go. Yeah. From the raw meat to the utensil, OK, so that protein is now all over the handle of the knife, and it's all over bread. the bread. Oh. Ew. This is a completely cross-contaminated kitchen. Mm -hmm. 
for recon tonight, I got two really good friends of mine, Justin and Sandra. Justin is the creative director for a major entertainment company. Can you do an Irish coffee? Yeah, you got it. And I understand the pineapple margarita is your special drink. Uh -huh. uh, is that what we're doing? That's what she said. Pineapple margarita, do we have jalapenos cut up? No, but I'll go get some. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Oh, there's jalapenos in it. Yeah. All right, they're actually using shot glasses as units of measurement. They're not using jiggers or bar tools. There's no training here. No. You notice how the whipped cream is falling like that? You know why? He didn't shake it. Mm. Nope. Look at the mess. Uh, it's all over his hands now. It tastes like water. Pretty hard to make a drink with coffee. It tastes <laughs> like water. Coffee's got a pretty strong flavor yes, profile. It's got bold flavor. So that's Linda. She's working, isn't she? What? Is she barbacking? Is she man? Is she a manager, a barback, or is she just all hands on deck? I think she's all hands on deck. Okay. She is a manager, but they don't know what their labor costs is, their food costs. Are. So I'm, I'm not quite sure that you could call somebody a manager who doesn't know those things. Well, I don't really need to eat pineapple. Is this the pineapple margarita? You should have given you a jalapeno yeah. pineapple margarita. What did you get? I just don't taste like pineapple, and I don't taste like tequila. You don't taste tequila or pineapple? No. I'll fix it. <laughs> You want the prime dip? Yeah, that's prime rib dip. What she was okay. recommending. Yeah, it's really good here. I like the half rack of rib. Half rack, half rack? Okay. So, John, I'm just a little confused about Reva. She's not helping anything. No. So either she doesn't know me or she doesn't care. Exactly. She almost seems a little intimidated. Okay, so these are the ribs. When were these made? My goodness. What is the date on these? These are like petrified. No date, no label. Is that mold on those ribs? Ew! That is so Ew. scary. They're like boiled. That's the, that's a silverware caddy. That is a utensil holder. There's meat in there. Oh, that's the um, prime rib. Oh God. Oh, that is disgusting. Chef, he can't eat this food. That is no. not servable at all. So we need to find out when that was made. We can't let Justin eat this food. Go in, find out when this is made. Stop this, OK? Right. Yeah, I get it. John sends me in to stop these ribs from being served. Someone is 100% going to get sick, if not dead. I'll be back for the toast. Right behind you, Bridget. Hey, 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 Randy. Come here. Mars. Come, come with me. Bring those here. Hey. I'm one of John's experts, and we were just watching you. Hold on, keep that right there, huh? Excuse me for one second. Ew! Oh my God! What, what is this? You know this is here. And you're serving this shit? Are you kidding me? I haven't been to work in, in three days, okay? I mean, Mike doesn't even understand what the hell Jason is saying. What are you, what are you? <laughs> Look at this. I want Reva to see this. Okay. She's the one who needs to see this. I'll be back. All right. Congratulations. You're the worst f***ing cook I've ever worked oh, with. Oh, you, bitch ass mother I would not let them bring your food out. If you ate that food, you would have gotten sick. We stopped it in the kitchen. We're dealing with this now. Reva, Linda? Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you both. Come with me. Ask me, why are you mad, John? Ask me. Why are you mad, John? Because you're going to f***ing kill somebody. That's why. This guy makes hamburgers with his hands. Then he comes and picks up this knife. Now there's raw meat all over the knife. Rubs his hand on this. There's raw meat all over this. Touches the buns. Cuts them with his hand. Raw meat all over everything in this kitchen. This place is completely cross-contaminated. He's responsible in this kitchen, but you're the owner, Reva. You're responsible for him. It's completely illegal. Do you understand that? I'm not gonna kill nobody. Yes, you are. Did you put on gloves? Did you wash your hands once? Look at your One tail. time. Look at your I tail. did. I've been watching you for a half hour. This man should not be in here if he doesn't know what he's doing. And he does not know what he's doing. You're such a dick. Let me ask you a question. 
Are you supposed to wash your hands after you touch raw meat? Yeah. Did you? Yes. You did not. Look on the fucking camera. You did. I will show you tomorrow. Look on the You're camera. a fucking liar. You're gonna kill somebody. I would not eat anything here if you were you guys. You will get sick. Touch my hands. Please, I'm sorry. Please don't. Please. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.